On today's vital episode, we will talk about FM synthesis with three examples on FM leads and wobble bases. These clips are all extracted from my four hour webinar on vital, available now at the Future Media Academy website. I'll leave a link on the video description. And hope you enjoy them. Yalla, let's go. Okay, so we'll start this patch by tuning oscillators one and two, or more like finding the right octave for them and then trying different wavetables to ensure we get that crunchy fat FM sound. This is the auto rhythm reset that I, I've done with you guys a million times, I'm sure you know. But uh, in that regard, doing um, auto rhythm within the beat repeater itself is a good exercise and a good idea. So I'm gonna just uh, bring this thing down here and put instead of a drowning note, I'm gonna put 16ths and um, we're gonna do the rhythm with the biter itself. Let's, let's do a lead sound first. If we were to automate or if we didn't have a very clear idea on the rhythm that we wanted, we want the, uh, the, pa the patch itself to help us or to assist us in the, in the rhythm of this, we could uh, easily create a randomization for this. So let's go ahead and put random uh, one into the decay and uh, dial it down a little bit. We're going to sync it and put it into the sample and hold version. We don't want it to be random or, or we don't want it to be rounded, but to have a very clear different values every, let's say, 16. This telephone needs to be in sync mode so we can um, uh, keep the emulation running while we re trigger many, many notes per bar. In the um, spirit of creating sounds that have rhythm on them, we can play a little bit more with that. Uh, with using the LFO as a sequencer and to with the idea of, of, an, of a lead sound that uh, has rhythm on it. So for my example, like a cooking show, I have my ready example here. Uh, and it's called lead uh, rhythm something. Oh, fuck. 
it's my fault for making too many of them. Yeah. So very stupid basic rhythm, but it has a, it has some filtering modulation as well. So I made that variation. It's a slightly different rhythm. I'm gonna save it, it's not bad. But uh, let's say uh, make a different one maybe. I'm gonna turn these face random faces uh, off because I don't want the, the, the sound to variate slightly or, or even in the, the most minimum. I'm going to select EFM from this selector tool, turn the volume down and put a more aggressive shape on this side, maybe white noise. here so we don't have a crazy high you know what I like this maybe we can put a little bit of flanger or something you know what it's not bad let's keep it yeah. one of the most typical ways to do a wall base uh, instead of doing the, <laughs> this um, the uh, say harmonic management or the, the removal or the adding of the harmonics by using a low pass filter is the most uh, typical way of doing it but we will see a way that involves a little bit of FM and an LFO that will create that shape and we will add a very moderate amount of FM Which micro? What? <laughs> what did I? What did I do? 
It's a random. Uh, it was this one. You set the roof for the ceiling of a micro. Q, bring it forward. You see how uh, we start to have <laughs> five or more modulations on the same LFO, and this LFO is also controlled by the macro. So basically, this macro gives you the control on many uh, parameters at the same time, and the expression itself of the the or the opening of the this um, harmonics is what we call the wobble itself. <laughs> As uh, slower, more controlled, more moderate modulation in this very, very small amount. <laughs> Okay guys, that's it for today. Thank you very very much for watching. Don't forget to check out my online classes in the Future Media Academy website and to follow me on Twitch. I stream almost every day. You'll find the links in the video description.